hello there just thought I'd jump on make a quick video and um, this is in relation to an aircraft crash test a DC-7 and the crash test was conducted uh, with the FAA now what I want to look at in this video is to do with the plane wing striking a telegraph pole and what actually happens to the plane wing with this collision now this is in more relation to uh, flight 77 as that apparently struck a number of light poles and um, from as I interpret the wing managed to stay intact um, and not uh, break off which is highly dubious that that would happen so let's just see what does happen to a wing of an aircraft you know in this crash test now just to say obviously this is a different aircraft from a 767 Boeing or 757 I think it was with the um, Pentagon but anyway nevertheless this is what happens to a wing now I just want to blow this up a little bit so just to I'm gonna jump jump to where I need to be on here and it just explains what is happening in this test so landing gear as in a serious undershoot or overrun accident there were two telephone poles to simulate crash landing in a wooded area there was a mound of dirt to simulate a wing low contact with the ground there was an incline of eight degrees to create severe fuselage ground contact and strain the capabilities of the aircraft structure and internal experiments and finally there was a hill at an impact angle of 20 degrees to subject the structure and experiments to destructive loads the aircraft was carefully prepared for the tests right so that was just explaining what's going on in this test so I'm just gonna find the place now that I want to there we go we're gonna go from here so here we go Bye. and here is the action as seen from the front the initial barriers destroy the propellers watch this separate the landing gear here. wrench the engines from their mounts and start engine fires the pole impact yaws the aircraft there is a glancing contact with the left wing the aircraft is pitched up and, and the fuselage weakened by the propeller fails right so I'm just gonna take that back and do, do a little bit of commentary on this because I think it's important just to point out now this telegraph pole and this telegraph pole very important I was mainly focusing on this but this also does come into play so I'm gonna play it again just so we can uh, get this to play so here we go here is the action as seen from the front the initial barriers destroy the propellers separate the landing gear wrench the engines from their mounts and start engine fires so clearly see this telegraph pole is slicing into the wing and this one has not yet hit that one so we'll see what happens the there. pole impact same there that's impacting into the wing yaws the aircraft there is a glancing contact with the as you can see it sheared this area of the wing off and it's shearing this area of the wing off left wing the aircraft is pitched up and the fuselage we can and by the look of it that telegraph pole there 
I'm not sure if that's still intact. Just see that again. The pole impact yaws the aircraft. There is a glancing contact with the left wing. The aircraft is pitched up, and the fuselage, weakened by the propeller, fails. Let's just see if they give us another angle of this, which would be interesting. See if it's there. Yes, hang on. Another one here. A severe crash. This test program, sponsored and supervised by the Federal Aviation Agency, provides a unique opportunity to gain fundamental knowledge of aircraft behavior under crash conditions. Yes, yeah, so we did say that did slice as well the uh, telegraph pole. So this is just another piece of evidence that, um, by the look of it, I, I don't believe, and I think it's very dubious to suggest that the uh, Flight 77's plane seen from the front. The initial barriers destroy the actually sliced through without any damage to the plane and knocked those light poles over. Yes, they may have knocked them over, but I don't think that the plane's wing would have survived. Yet what we see in some, uh, that I've seen some from, uh, may have been on David Channel Chandler's uh, evidence to do with the Flight 77, they seem to have the wing intact. Now, I totally disagree with that. I don't think the wings would have survived. And these look like wooden telegraph poles. The ones, the light poles we've seen at the Pentagon were actually metal. And um, they seem to slice some of them, which I don't believe a tip of a wing would do. Um, so I'll just play the out, out bit of that again. The propellers. Separate the landing gear. Wrench the engines from their mounts and start engine fires. The pole impact. There you see, look, the pole is already embedded into the wing here. Now this is, and, and this one here has already sheared it off. It's very fragile there. They, have, they do have no, don't step on the wing because they're that fragile written on there so this we can see is already embedded so it's not looking good for flight 77 and the light poles theory and whether that plane stayed intact to even hit the pentagon the way they say it did so yaw no the aircraft there is a glancing contact with see now that pole is still stood up there before it actually the left wing tipped over yeah. the aircraft is pitched that up wings just the fuselage the so there we have it i just thought i'd uh, jump on and share that video you can see at this channel here the share options there for the link uh, could put that in the uh, link box if anybody would like to watch it and I'll be back again soon and hope you're all having a good day and bye for now.